the first step uh, which is retrieving the molecule for that i think i should we have to decide on what protein and which ligand are we going to do the docking for so there's something called streptavidin biotin okay uh, if you check this out if you are not known to this uh, Streptavidin biotin over here. If you can just just go to Wikipedia is not a reliable source, but just for the information sake. Streptavidin uh, is a protein. Okay, from the bacterium Streptomyces avidini and uh, where is the biotin stuff? Yeah. Streptavidin biotin. Yes, streptavidin, bio, uh, streptavidin homotetramers have an extraordinary affinity binding, affinity for biotin, okay, which is also known as vitamin B7 or vitamin H, uh, with very high dissociation constant. KD values are quite low for this. So this thing, this biotin streptavidin, is used very extensively in in biotechnology stuff, where uh, you can see this streptac. And it's used in nanobiotechnology, it's used in Western blotting, and uh, in so many ELISA based you know, sensing methodologies. So, that, so taking that in, into consideration, because it's a very well known molecule protein uh, interaction, you know, strong binder, we will go with streptavidin biotin. Okay. So, where we got to go is we have to go to RCSB. Dot org. go to rcsb.org, the home page over here. Uh, it looks something like this. Um, streptavidin, uh, by uh, streptavidin, we have no search here. You can go with streptavidin uh, direct search. When you do that, you can see how many hits you are getting. You are getting almost 2,206 structures which are available. Obviously, it is going to be difficult for you to find out which one. Just like that. One thing that you know is the original protein, streptavidin, has come, come from streptomyces avidin. So we are going to limit our, uh, our search with streptomyces avidin over here. Not human, nothing else. Now, in this, we are going to see there are still 252 structures. And uh, you know, you can either mm, you know, see them based on the score, or you can choose you can choose to find out an alternative method. So usually, what we do is we go with the release date, oldest to newest. Okay, if you do that, you will get to know. The first structure that was that was crystallized, and usually that is the most reliable structure, because that uh, based on that people start doing some experiments, and then they come up with something, uh, some some more structures of the same protein. So we see here there's something called one STP, which is the crystal origins of high affinity binding, protein binding to streptavidin. This is this was published in Science. Looks something to me which could be uh, an original image. And then X-ray diffraction is 2.6 angstrom, not bad. We can go with this. Nothing wrong in this. Okay, and you have the unique ligand BTN. We'll go inside that and we'll see what is BTN. But from the name, it looks like it's biotin. Now, uh, if you look here, this is a peptide, macromolecule peptide. So the structure of ligand binding studies screened peptide complex with streptavidin. This is, this is not the complete protein, this is a, a peptide structure. And slowly if you go down and down and down, if you go to, if you go to something like, you know, I'm just trying to find out one of the mutated ones, mutated forms, so that you can, you will learn to find out the mutated forms. Uh, these are also like two unoccupied binding sites, if you will pull structure. And these are like complex things that were done in this streptavidin structure itself. 
so that to understand the uh, basically to understand the functionality of the protein so, but you don't need all of that you're just going to go with the original one okay now i don't see anything over here so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to change this to the score method again and here i'm sure we are going to get something yeah here so you can see one SWL, which is the PDB ID. This is called the PDB ID. Post streptavidin mutant. You can see this is a mutant from uh, mutant from tryptophan replaced with phenylalanine at PS7.0. So yes, mutation done. Yes, we don't need things like this. Telling you what we have supposed to find out. It's more important, I guess, to tell you what we are not supposed to do. With. So. Go with the release dates over here, and uh, yeah, I'm going to go with this. So, I uh, I would also want you to go to the structure one STP. If you are unable to find it out, you can just you know, well, you can just search here when STP and the PDA will the same thing over here. Uh, you can see here clearly this is biotin binding protein. It's called streptovidin and it's from the same organism plus mutation there is no mutation you can see here last last one what we had seen there was a mutation so here we see there is no mutation plus this is an extra diffraction structure there are two structures nowadays that you will find extra diffraction structures and uh, some electron microscopy methods are also available by which they are coming up with structures so uh, usually we don't prefer to go with them unless there is no other option so x-ray diffraction method is the one that you are supposed to look into okay. uh, if you want to go to the primary literature where this was published you can go to this this is the paper uh, where it was, it was published so we can just have a look on what this is published the authors are Weber PC and it is published in 1989 so there are four authors you can see here it is this is the paper this is uh, science is a very reputed journal obviously you must all be knowing this so we have this article over here you can get the PDF it is available if it is available freely otherwise you can find some other source to get the PDF so anyways we are not interested in this we are interested in the protein how do we save it once you have it here if you want you can visualize the three-dimensional structure by going to 3d view click on structure and you can see this it is going to come here in a moment uh, yes this is where you have the three-dimensional view which you can rotate and see very beautifully and you can see this is the ligand btn over here which is bound okay in the there's a tetramer and in every monomer you can see this ligand bound over here. Okay. Now I I don't want to look into this uh, anymore. So we go back to the structure somewhere. Maybe. And uh, we will download the file. Before we download the file, first thing uh, here, please create a folder. Okay. With some name on your desktop probably so i have created a folder called talking fluid where i'm going to save save everything so i am going to save this molecule this protein molecule uh, there i just want to show you what is the ligand so every structure every crystal structure will have this information if there is any small molecule which is attached to it you will have the details of what it is so it was btn we have seen that it's btn and what is the name it's biotin the chemical formula is there the 2d diagram is there 3d ligand interactions are there we can go into that and look into that not required right now so just to, to tell you where exactly we can find the small molecules and the details of them because many a times you have proteins where you have multiple ligands in here you only have one ligand there are so many places where uh, there are so many instances where you will have multiple ligands and the codes they have used you will not know which particular 
ligand it is. So you should go back to this place and find out what is the ligand. Uh, and yeah, here you can see this is uh, chain A only is available here. Uh, mutation is nil, image, forget that image. Come to download files. So basically, uh, once you have found out your protein, this is the page where you are supposed to find out, and you click on download files. When you click on download files, you will have multiple options. You go to the PDB format, which is the second option, not PDB uh, GZ format. This is not the correct one. You have to go to the first PDB format alone. So click on PDB format, and uh, you will get an option of where to save it. So I got an option. I went to flow talking fluid. I just I, I I retain the number. This is for finding out easily which PTB ID I have worked with. I would suggest you all to do that also. Please do not change the. Uh, please retain. I mean, please do not forget to. Please do not delete the name over here. If you have deleted, you should uh, somewhere note it down that the protein which you have worked with. The PDB ID for that particular protein is so and so because you are going to require it later. So, uh, understand whenever you are doing docking, a systematic procedure is very essential, otherwise, you will forget things and you will also mess up. So, please save the protein in the PDB format. You can see it's over here. So, I have saved the protein. Now, next thing, what am I supposed to do? Second thing which I was supposed to do is I'll just tell you how to go to downloads. Uh, it's simple stuff. You when you open this uh, window, any window, you can press W E. Okay, when you press W E, this is going to come. My PC will come. So you can usually there is a, there are these favorites where you have downloads. So you can just click on downloads and you can go here. You can change this date modified option. Uh, drop down. If you change it to drop down date modified, uh, I I keep the view as this. You know, I keep the view as details with the file extension name on. So please do that. It will be a, it will be quite helpful right now for you. So uh, once you do that, you know in the in the view mode you can go. To, so there is a view mode over here, so you can go to the view mode and. Uh, you go to the details over here and you have the file extension over here. Change it to date modified. The first one on top uh, is the one that you would require. So everything, whatever you are downloading, might go to the download. So you can use this. Fine. So we are done with downloading the protein. Now, second thing, we are going to another website which is called the PubChem. So PubChem, if you search, uh, now it's already there for me, so let me search it. So you search it, PubChem. This is the website, pubchem.ncbi.nlm.nih.gov. Please go to that. This is what it looks like. Uh, I have just closed the code information over there. Now, what is the molecule that we are looking for? We are going to do the document with. In the search button, in the search option, uh, you can search using many different ways. You don't have to do that. You just write the name. Okay. Just write the name, click enter. You will have multiple biotin stuff coming over here. You can see uh, the first one is biotin, second is biotin sulfoxide, third is some biotin PEG3 amine. Uh, and so on, so on, so on, so on. You don't have to look into those things. We are interested in doing docking with biotin. And it also tells you which is the best match. This is the best match, and this is what we need. So we click on the name biotin, vitamin H, V7, whatever. Click there. It is going to go in the page where biotin is, the, the details of biotin is available. Now, what you need is you need to download it. So when you click on download, there's a big page that will pop up. 
you can see this. You know, there is a big page where uh, data used to display this page. 2D structure, there are so many. 3D structure, there are so many options. Now, see, we want to download the 3D SDF format. With, you also have 2D SDF format. Please do not confuse. You need the three-dimensional structure. So we are going to download the 3D conformer in SDF format. There are so many different formats. One of that is SDF. We are going to take that. And uh, here it is. I am going to save it with the name of. If once you save it, it is going to save itself with this name. Conformer 3D CID something something something. You can change it later. I am going to change it to biotech. For SDF. So I'll save it. Uh, Biotin SDF is downloaded here. I hope you all are also have downloaded that. So we have we have the protein downloaded from PDB and we have the uh, molecule downloaded from bio from the the uh, PubChem website. Now let's go back to our folder. Now uh, we have uh, Streptavidin and then we have Biotin. I've named, changed the name and saved it. 